Hey there, it's Amelia, and in this video, I'm going to provide an overview on Canva. This is the Canva dashboard, and you can get here by typing in canva.com, and I am logged in, and I have Canva Pro. Now, I was using the free version of Canva for years, absolutely loved it, and it's packed with thousands of graphics and elements and templates, etc. But what I found was that as I created more designs, there were a lot of different graphics and elements that I wanted to use that I needed to pay for separately. So in the long run, it was definitely worth it for me to upgrade to the pro version. Now you will see certain features throughout this course that are only available in Canva Pro, and I will point those out throughout the lessons. So on the dashboard, let's take a look at the horizontal menu here at the top. The three lines here, or the hamburger menu, will allow you to either hide or show the left panel. You can click on the Canva logo or home anytime to return back to the Canva dashboard. The templates feature will allow you to start a design or browse through the different templates based on the different categories such as social media, personal, business, and so forth. So, for example, if you wanted to see all the templates for a Facebook post, you can click that particular topic, and then it will proceed to the Facebook post templates where you can select that particular template to start your design. Now, I'm going to click back on the Canva logo to return back to the dashboard. Also up in the horizontal menu is the features option, which lets you jump to specific features in Canva. For instance, you could see photos based on these categories, including seeing just free photos, background photos, and so forth. If you wanted to see all photos, click see all, and it will proceed to the discover photos page. Again, I'll return back to the dashboard and last but not least, here is the Learn option where you can find even more resources to learn more about designing with Canvas, social media marketing, graphic design, and so forth. Now here on the upper right, you can access the Help Center, access account settings, or start a design by clicking here on the Create a Design option. It will suggest different types of designs for you, and you want to use the vertical scroll bar to see even more. You can also start a design using a custom size, start with a photo, or import a file. On the left panel is an icon indicating that the type of license you have. I have Canva Pro and one person on my team. Clicking Home will take you back to the dashboard. And the next feature here, Your Projects, is brand new as of February 2022. Your Projects combines the previous two options, all your designs, and all your folders. Canva has made this change to improve design management throughout the app. By clicking on Your Projects, you'll see your recent designs, and you can also filter and see just folders, designs, images that you've uploaded, and videos. The shared with you option would be for any designs that were shared with you. Trash would be any designs that you've deleted, and you can also recover them out of the trash can by selecting the ellipsis and then select and restore, or you can delete it permanently. Create a team will allow you to describe and personalize your team. Now, in the tools options, the brand kit and the content planner both have this little crown icon indicating that those features are only available in Canva Pro. Brand Kit allows you to add brand logos, colors, 
fonts, etc., so that when you're editing designs, you can incorporate your particular branding items into your designs. Content Planner is useful to plan and automatically post designs on different social media platforms. So for example, I'll pick the 16th and I'll click the plus sign. And then if I click a design, now this is an Instagram post I designed, which is a square image, but I could share it on another social media post that uses the same size graphic. First, I would select my channel. And then once you select your channel, select up to five pages and write a caption, then you can schedule that post for that particular date. Or you can save the draft and finish it later. Now I'm going to click on the Canva logo to show you a couple more things on the dashboard. This gradient blue area here is another way you can start a design. You can search for content using the search bar. You can also use the different items here to jump to a particular category. By default, the For You is selected. Now here's the suggestions that Canva is providing for you, and they may change depending on a couple factors. Depending on how you search in Canva, your preferences, and the time of year. So if there's a holiday coming up, you may see graphics pertaining to that particular holiday pop up in suggestions in Canva. You can also start a presentation by clicking here and then selecting a certain kind of presentation to begin your design. Also social media, videos, print products, marketing designs, office designs, and more, including infographics, collages, desktop wallpapers, and so forth. Now, if you click on a particular topic, for instance, infographic, it's gonna open up your design in a separate tab. In this case, it has started with a blank design and then over on the left, you have a variety of templates to choose from, and you can select a category. So for example, if I wanted to create an educational graphic, informational graphic, and so forth, I would click one of these designs. It would bring it over here on the right pane, and then you would customize it as needed. I'll close this tab. So now that we've reviewed the Canva homepage and the dashboard, let's take a look at some of the features and options and interface within a design. Now to edit or open an existing design, there are several ways that you can find it. If it's something that you recently worked on, it's easy enough to find in recent designs. I've been recently working on a Canva quick reference guide, and this is a image for a YouTube thumbnail that I recently created for a separate video. But say those uh, images were not visible in my recent design, say I worked on them like two months ago. Um, you can certainly look in your projects and browse in a folder. You can also search a keyword. And if you have Canva Pro, it will let you search within your design. So for instance, I have this word new here and with the your projects tab selected again, only Canva Pro, I can see any designs that have the word new in there. So I can browse in here. I can also search for a uh, YouTube thumbnail and it will match up any thumbnails I created. And it also found a folder named YouTube thumbnail. So I can go into this folder here and I could find that image that way. And as you can see, I have multiple pages here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that design and open that up. So make that just a little bit bigger here. So as you can see, this is multiple pages. When I create a design, sometimes if I'm editing or I see another template that I like, I will add a new page. It's easy enough in here. You can duplicate a page or you can add a page here. And then I will add uh, some other templates just in case I want to um, use that other template or change it up. So let's take a look at the menu bar across along the side and the features on the upper right. 
So on the upper left here, home will take you to the dashboard. In the file menu, you want to definitely check that out. There's some uh, features in there that um, sometimes I forget about that they're there, but the create new design is the same create new design as you would find on the upper right of the uh, homepage dashboard. Show rollers and guides, show margins, and show print bleed will show different guidelines on your design to help you with measurement and uh, margin, etc. So for instance, show rollers and guides will display the guides here, show margins, and show print bleed, display different lines and guidelines, etc. for you. I don't always use them, but you can use these options here in the file menu to turn them on or off. Also in the file menu is a save feature. Now, because Canva is cloud-based, it automatically saves all your changes, but if you make a lot of changes and you wanna make sure it 100% saves, you can always click here. It does tell you all changes saved, which is an indication that um, everything's saved on the cloud. You can also use move to folder to move the design to, into a folder. If you have any comments that you've added and marked and resolved, you can view them here. You can also look at version history, but this is only available in Canva Pro. So if I click here, I can see my different history when I edited this design. You can also make a copy here, download it, and even though Canva is cloud-based and you use it through your browser and everything saved for you automatically on the cloud, you can also opt to use the desktop version of Canva instead. All you have to do is click here and it will prompt you to download Canva for Windows. And once downloaded, you'll install it and it'll add a Canva icon on your desktop and it'll look pretty similar to the online version I do tend to use the online version. I love the fact that it's cloud-based and I could use it anywhere. That's the advantage. If you use the desktop version and you save locally, if you're somewhere else and you decide to edit um, an image, you have to make sure that it's saved online somewhere so you can find it. So, so that option is there if you need it. Another option which is only available in Canva Pro is Magic Resize. So say you created a YouTube thumbnail and you decide, I wanna create an Instagram post but it's gonna be in a different size. No problem there. You could either enter in a custom size or select one of these pre-sized options like Instagram post. And then once you select your size, just copy and resize. It will do its best to uh, take that design and resize it for you. Sometimes you do have to move the um, elements and images around a little bit, but it will automatically resize it for you. Also here in the upper left are the usual undo and redo, and this little icon indicates that all changes are saved. Now I'm also gonna mention about the different options on the left here. I won't go into heavy design editing, creation, video editing, etc., because I have separate lessons on those features. I actually have a full-blown Canva course that's available on my uh, course platform. I'll leave links in the description below if you're interested in learning more. So on the left here, templates is currently selected. You can see all the different th uh, thumbnail templates available. Elements allows you to search for uh, mainly illustrations and shapes, etc. Some are animated and some are static. Uploads would be any media, including images, videos, and audio that you upload it yourself that you can add to your designs. Photos includes thousands and thousands of photographic images that you can select from and add to your design. You can add text boxes. You can explore styles for color palettes, explore more about colors and fonts. Audio to add music. If it's a static image and you add music, then you can save it as an MP4. Videos provides a large amount of video templates that you can select and customize to create your own video. You have background images as well that you can add to your designs. Now start will display any of your favorites. So to mark a template or image as your favorite, I'll use a template for example, 
Say there's a template you see that because Canva is always changing and you may not see it in the same place tomorrow or next week, if you see something you like, it's worth starring it so that you can find it easily later. So let's say I just pick one of these and I really like it and I want to add it uh, to my starred items. All I have to do is click on the ellipsis here and then click star. And then once I go into starred items here, I'll see that particular template in my start items. There's also charts that you can explore and customize. You can create a QR code. You can upload logos. You can also search for logo templates, explore folders, and then under the more option, you can explore further features, integration with other apps, etc. Finally, let's take a look on the upper right. This is the name of your design, which you can edit up in here. You can also edit the name of a design from the home page. Just click on the little pencil underneath the thumbnail. This is just the name that you associate it with your Canva profile. You can click plus if you want to share the design. There's also a separate share item in here. Now, once you do share the design, it will provide insights if you share that design. Also in the new share button, which is new in 2022, it used to say download on the upper right, are all the different share features and the download options. So you can share this design with different people, groups, or teams. You can copy the link. You can select one of these options as well for sharing. And then when you click download, notice you can download in a variety of file formats and then if you have Canva Pro, you can change the size, save with the transparent background by checking this box, save that as a ping image, compress the file for lower quality. And then down in here, if you have multiple pages, like I have four pages because I was experimenting with four different templates, I may only want to download page one. So I'll click down here, select page one, and then click done. And then I can download just that particular image in this example as a ping file format. You can also click in this checkbox to save your download settings. Canva is evolving all the time and adding new features. So as they add new features, I'm creating new videos. I'm also creating new content to my course. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, be sure to smash the like button and click subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. If you'd like to learn more about Canva, check out my new Canva course, which has step-by-step -step instructions, downloadable PDFs, and bonus videos. Check out the description below for special deals on my Canva course. Bye now.